That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly how you do a really good Batman movie. What's up, everyone? I'm back at y'all for another video. Now, for this one, I'm reviewing The Batman. Like, this is my first time watching it, and I gotta say, this is a really good freaking fucking movie. This movie was so damn good. Now, I don't think I could think of any negatives. I'll get to the negatives here in a little bit, but first, I will get my positives. Okay, so the positives are the fight scenes with the Batman was fucking epic, and it's like this movie um, was was the most realistic Batman out of the whole franchise of Batman, and I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Um, the fight scenes with the Batman were great. The um, cat, the woman that played Catwoman was great, and the Riddler as the villain. Of course, was was one of the best villains in all the Batman movies, and I really enjoyed the Riddler in this movie. Um, like this movie was really good. At times, it felt like a Saw movie. At times, too, you might could say it also feels like the movie Seven mixed with Batman. Um, it this movie, it's a good movie. Like. You know, because there's some things that the Riddler does, puts people in traps, kind of like Jigsaw does in the Saw movies, and it's great. Like, at the time, it feels like a slasher movie. It op the film kind of opens up showing the Riddler, you know? So, I enjoy this movie a lot. Um, if I had to rate this movie, I would have to give it a solid 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for this movie because I can't think of any negatives. I only have one negative, and that is towards the middle, it started slowing down just a little bit. It started becoming like a little bit slower towards the middle. But other than that, the film was damn near perfect to me. That's why it's a 10 out of 10. Like, this is one of the movies I could probably put on any time of day and watch it and probably still enjoy it. So it's a 10 out of 10 for me for the Batman. And hopefully, we're able to get that sequel. There's times in the movie, there's a there's a scene in the movie where, you know, at the end, the real liquor is in jail by towards the end of the movie. And there's a hint that Joker was on the, one, one of the cells, you know, and it's like they start interacting with each other. That would be freaking sick if, um, that would be freaking sick if Joker and the real team up in the second film, and then they also introduce Mr. Freeze in the next film as well. And this is probably the darkest film out of all the Batman movies. So that's awesome. Um, I enjoyed this movie. This movie, I didn't feel the runtime of this movie. Um, you know, I'm Batman's always been my, you know, third favorite superhero. He's in my top three favorite superheroes. My favorite superhero is still Spider Man. My second favorite superhero is probably Captain America, but Batman is damn sure is in my top three favorite superheroes. Most people s consider him as their number one, but he's in my top three. I love, I love Batman. He's one of my favorites. I even love a lot of the bad ones, like that movie Batman and Robin. It's a movie that's so bad that it's good. That movie, I didn't, I don't take it seriously. I just have a little bit of dumb fun with that movie. Um... The Batman movie in, in the 80s, that, you know, that one Batman movie that came out in the 80s, that was really good. Um, I enjoyed all the Batman movies. I enjoyed the Dark Knight trilogy. So, yeah, I am a Batman fan. Um, Batman's one of my favorite superheroes. So, yeah, and I really love this movie. Like, if you're a Batman fan, you'll love this movie. Like, this is the perfect Batman movie. Is it a perfect movie? Probably not, but it's a perfect Batman movie. That's why I would give it a 10 out of 10 because this movie is one of the best Batman movies out of all of them. And it also feels like The Crow, the way the camera shots are in this film. It feels like The Crow at times too. So, yeah, this movie has a, diff this movie has a feel of different sub-genres a little bit. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's times in this movie where I, when I'm like... This could have been R-rated, but 
Of course, it isn't R-rated, but there's times in this movie that felt like this movie is R-rated. And I just love this movie. This movie gets a round of another round of applause for me. I freaking enjoy this movie. I didn't feel the runtime at all. This movie's almost three hours long, and I did not feel the runtime at all. Um, this movie just went all just like that. I'm like, damn, it's over already? So, yeah. So, yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Let me know in the comments below. What did y'all think of this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'd like to see y'all's thoughts down below. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know new videos upload. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.